Hey people, Epabot here, and in this video I will show you how to make a round system with timer UI. This tutorial is in a way bit difficult to make, since I can't make a round system that will work perfectly for every single one of you. In fact, probably all of you need slightly unique script, so instead I will show you the basics, how it all works, and how you can build on top of it to make it suitable for your game. So let's begin. In my example, we have a 10 second wait before the round. Then we load the map, wait for 30 seconds for the round to end, remove the map when the time runs out, and we're back at the beginning. And you can of course see the time in the timer UI all throughout this. So let's see what we have in studio. In server storage, we have the map. In replicated storage, we have a remote event that we use for the timer UI. More about that later. In server script service, we have a script that basically contains the main gameplay loop, aka the round system. In starter GUI, we have screen GUI, and inside of it we have the timer, text label, and a local script that makes the timer actually work. That's basically all, so now I'm going to explain the code. We're going to start off with the gameplay loop. First, we wait for a boat map and update timer remote event to load. Then we have the actual gameplay loop. Inside we have a for loop. This is the intro waiting time before the actual round. Basically it comes from 10 to 1 and each time we use the remote event to update all the clients with the current time. And we also wait 1 second between each time, so it is actually like 10 second countdown. Next we load the map. In this case we just move the map from server storage to workspace. This is where you could do something like teleport players on the map, give them weapons, spawn an enemy or something like that. This is where the round starts. Next we have another for loop. It is the same as last time, but this time it repeats itself 30 times. This is the duration of one round. Then we move the map back to server storage. And we are back at the beginning. Overall very simple, but we are going to add a bit more to this in a moment. But first, let me explain the timer UI. Whenever we need to update time, we send an event to all clients. This event contains the current time. So, we send the event with the current time to all clients, and the local script is able to detect it. When the local script detects it, it changes the text of the timer to the current time that came with the event. So, in our local script, we first wait for both remote event and timer text label to load, and whenever we detect the event, we change the text of the timer. Pretty simple. So our current system works fine right now, but I'm going to add a bit more to the gameplay loop. There might be a situation where the round shouldn't start after the intro, like not enough players, or sometimes the round should end before the timer runs out, like for example, there's only one person left, or something like that. We can take those situations into consideration like this. Before we load the map, we have an if statement to check if we should or can start the round. And also, when the round is going, we can break the loop and end the round before the time runs out if certain condition is met. In this example, I only use some simple bool variables, and you can test how the script behaves if you change these values. Anyways, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. Also, check out my other videos because I think they are pretty cool too. Thank you for watching and as always, have a nice day, take care.